Hey everybody, what is going on today? And today we're going to be learning about using selections to generate some complex layer masks. And we're going to do this by using the type tool and just going to create a mask out of some type and it's going to be pretty cool looking. So what we got here is just load up an image and I like this one because it has a lot of the sea color going on in here um, or a lake or whatever they're on and I want to use that in my uh, text. So go ahead to your text area and we're gonna click on it and we're gonna scroll down to the horizontal type mask tool. And go ahead and select whatever color you, or whatever uh, font you want. I'm gonna select uh, Babis New. If that's how you say it. I'm not really sure if that's how you say it or not. It's weird looking. Well anyways let's uh, start typing here and Looks like I got a 72 point font, and let's see how big that is. Not big enough. Let's go to like 200 maybe, because that was really small. All right, all right. Then we'll make this one really big, 400 or something like that. Well, that's good enough. All right, now I got that going on. And now I have this uh, mass that's being created here. So all I need to do is click on, well, I have my mask, select, or my mask selected. Make sure I have my layer going on here. I gotta select my layer, and I just have to click on the Add Layer Mask button. And now I have taken color information from um, the image used a mask and now I have that color information on my text and that's what's coloring my text. Now I can take this and oops let me uh, select this mask here and I can move it around if I select the actual friggin mask and if you look over here you can see that the image is moving around while I move the mask and that's so that you can keep the same colors instead of the mask moving around and picking up other color from around the uh, image. So it's always going to stay in the same place when you're moving it around. Let me put a background up real quick so we can see a little better. Um, let's see how black looks. There we go. That looks cool. So now we've got this image here. And that's how you create a, a mask. Um, some complex some complex layer masks going on there and you can use this with other kinds of selections you can add multiple selections together you could use your lasso tool if you wanted to or the magic wand tool any kind of selections like that now one of the cool things about layer masks is that you can add um, apply the layer styles to a masked image so if we come down here We've got our different layer styles, and we can add like uh, any of these to it. So let's uh, let's just go to bevel and emboss, and now you can see that the layer style works on the mask, and it's just like adding some cool effects to your text. So this is it without, and this is with. So that's one of the cool features of being able to use a layer mask on an image and creating text out of it. So that's all I wanted to teach you about, about the uh, generating some complex layer masks. And hopefully you guys learned something. And I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial. See you guys later.